This is how I feel about the Patrick Doris firing. He's the city assessor for the city of Portsmouth, Virginia. And I'm going to tell especially the black community on this one, you're getting played by this whole city council. It may show new faces, but it shows the same attitude, no different, nobody's trying to buck the system and say, we gotta get rid of this corruption. We gotta get some kind of sense of governance where it doesn't have us looking like a circus every single time. We seem to be out here in the public guy watch us looking like the Springer Show every single week. Seriously, this is what's really going on, people. And if you don't pay attention to it, it could catch you off guard. But I tell anybody, whatever I say, pay attention. That's why I say it. So people have it in their mind to say, okay, maybe I should look at this council a little bit different. Other than me looking at somebody who may share my same skin tone, Maybe I need to look at the fact a lot of people share my same skin tone, but they try to play you anyway, lie to you anyways. Realistically, people may not care about you regardless of race the same way you care about them. This is the example of why most of the city council needs to go and have fresh faces, fresh blood, not tied into the system the way it is right now. Patrick Doris is a scapegoat for competent leadership that runs a department without regard to politics compared to covering up the bullshit. What happened here, when you want a whole bunch of confusion, you don't want people knowing where the money is at, you don't want people being all up in your personal business and stuff like that, you hire people who really don't know how to do the job, but the appearance looks like they know how to do the job. But the people hiring that person knows exactly how to fire them any time frame they feel like it because they know that they can't do the job, so their incompetence is going to stack up to the point when we don't need you, we will get rid of you. Not because is our fault we're gonna make it look like it's your fault and bring up all the stuff that's happened and put it on you even though we the city council members been deciding where the money goes how to spend what is done with it that's the whole point the point is to get unqualified people to take on those positions to shovel the dirt and bury whoever they want to at any given time period. That's why it needs to be a whole overhaul of city employees as well as that city council to get things together so people can actually focus on dinner table issues and the real priorities of Portsmouth. And right now, the biggest priorities of Portsmouth right now is the economy and crime and the schools because families don't want to raise a family in Hampton Roads. They find it too dangerous. So now you lose some money for kids leaving the schools, homeschooling, or private schools. Crime, you tend, the area is constantly letting out murderers. Now, some are innocent, they should be let out. But what we're looking at is the fact that you can't have a successful prosecution because you don't have a victim witness program and you can't protect the victims because I'm not going to feel that protected if the only thing you do is make a police report over the phone. That's not going to work in a city full of gangsters and those who are taking the law into their own hands because they have lost confidence in the police being able to do their job. they are seeing people walk right out the jails so the streets carry out the punishment. What Patrick Doris was doing was exactly the work that the city of Portsmouth wanted him to do to bring in competent leadership and get the department under control. But what they didn't like is what somebody finds in the middle of that needle in the haystack situation. 
Patrick Doris was qualified to find out those problems. And that becomes a problem to those who are trying to cover up the dirt. And that's what happened. They made their high assessments. Well, the city council voted for the tax rates. They gave the ability for higher assessments. Everybody's going to a higher assessment, whether it's food, gas, rent, mortgage, we can name it all Biden's policies. And now the city of Portsmouth is saying, nah, uh-uh, y'all too smart. Y'all actually figuring this out. Notice when the dirt started coming out, they started firing people who knew about the dirt. It's easy to cover up when the liberal media makes you look like the heroes and make everybody else look like the demons. But the reality is, is the person who's publishing it and their mind state. And their mind state has been clear. We know about the corruption. Don't publish the corruption. Don't do anything to the corruption. And we'll keep bailing out the corruption compared to those who's the answer for the failures that have been put on to them because of city decisions. The firing of Patrick Doris is a cover up. Mayor Glover needs to resign. There's so much corruption right now, it needs to all come out so people start off on a clean slate. You can decide whether you forgive this person or not. But to continue in this direction, look at the city, look at your block, look at how you live, and look at how your neighbors live. That's the answer that Portsmouth officials have given you at this time. And notice, it's more of the corruption running things than it is of those who don't care about politics and does only care about doing the job that they are trained to do. I feel bad for those who see a problem, who want to bring it to the attention of their department heads, and their department heads targets them for firing because they found out what they was trying to cover up with the paperwork. Anybody can say blame, 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 but the person causing the whole problem or the toxicity is the person placing the blame. So if you want to see why the city assessor's office is screwed up and the rest of the departments in Portsmouth, as well as the employees' morale, the police and the rest of them messed up, look at how they are led. And that's exactly the disaster that you see in that district and in that city. And that's a mic drop facts. This is Merle Rutledge for Virginia State Senate District 18. Not afraid of nobody. Tell them truth to power, been doing it, and I'm going to hope that District 18 allows me to continue what I've been trying to get done in Richmond. God bless you, and God bless America.